Hey everyone, welcome back. So today's Sunday and as promised, I'm gonna go over the miners for all of the mining companies. So the base miner, uh, the AC miners for everybody. We're gonna look at to see what they purchased, what their hash rate is, what their watt consumption is on the miners. And then I give them an actual grade for it. So we're not gonna go over all the details because there's a lot, but we'll go over just like a general overview of uh, the data here. All right, so let's take a look at it here. Oh, let me see where we're at. Here we are. Okay. So I hope you guys can see this okay. Let me see if I can zoom this in maybe a little bit. So there's a lot of data here. So I took this list of miners from uh, the website what to mine uh, And I they have all the information as far as terahashes and then watts, what each one is at. So what I did from that is I took the, I did a calculation to see how efficient the miners are and I gave them a score. So I took the terahash divided by the watts and give them basically uh, watts per or terahashes per watt score on this and they give me the efficiency score on it. So after I got this, I basically sorted all of the data through from the most efficient miners to the least efficient miners and give them a score as well. So obviously the most efficient one got a score of one and then we went two, three, uh, so down until we hit to 89. I think it was, it was like 89 miners that we that I looked, looked through, well, did data on it. I didn't look through all of the miners, but did the data on it. And then I went through and put in the numbers for what each miner is currently in possession of. Um, so like Argo, Bitfarms, CleanSpark, DigiHost, Hive, Hut8, Marathon, and Riot, what they currently have in possession, reported what they bought. Some of the, sometimes they also reported, um, they didn't provide as far as who the manufacturer is. So I took a best guess estimate around as far as what their uh, hash rate is and then plugged it into the numbers here. So it may not align exactly, but it's, I think it's gonna be pretty close. Okay, um, so we got that. Then what I did is, once I plugged in the data for the current ones, I also did it for all the miners, for the whole uh, reports that they have as far as what they're gonna be mining in the next year or so. So I plugged in all those numbers there to give them a score as well. But first, let's look at the current miners that they have installed. So like Argo, Argo has 6,400 of these uh, N-Miner S19. Um, I think they're right around 95 terahashes. So what I did is I took the number of miners by the score of it, multiplied it, and it got this number, the 38,400. And then once I had all the numbers in here plugged in, so they got another 1,000 of the N-Miner S19s here. They gave them a score of 26,000. You know, 1,000 times 26 is 26,000 for the score, and I think that was all that they had. Oh, they had one more here. So they have 15,000 of these four, uh, 40 terahash miners, roughly, it was like 38 something, I believe. So they give them a score of 93,000 on that one. And once I had all the miners plugged in for each of these miners, the AC miners for the miners, it's gonna be confusing, uh, for all these companies, I then took and divided, what did I divide here? So I took this number, the amount of miners that they have divided by the score here and came up with a efficiency score basically how efficient are they uh, compared to everybody else so on Argo's case they had got a score of 0 0.0225 um, and the way that works is the higher the score the better the machines are right so they're more efficient so Bitfarms got a 0 0.0405 CleanSpark got a 98.41 uh, DigiHost got a score of 0 0.086, Hive got a 0 0.0635, Hut got a 0 0.0315, Marathon got a 0 0.227, and Riot got a score of 1.8. And the reason that CleanSpark has done so well is because they don't have a lot of old legacy miners out there. They have uh, basically 11,742 of these new generation miners, the Pro, the N-Miner S19J Pros, the 100 terahash. And based on the data provided from what's uh, what to mine, they're showing that they're at 3,050 watts and they're generating roughly 100,000 terahash, which gave them the best score in, effici uh, in efficiency. Uh, so that was terahashes per watt, basically. And based on that, they ended up with you know a score of 28,869. 28, I'm um, sorry, Clean Spark, 11,742. So they give them a score of 11,742. So, and then they only have, also had the 38 here of the N minus 19s, the 95 terahash, 
which gave them a score of 228. And then let me see if they've had anything else in here. And I think that was all that they had. So they have pretty recent purchases on, you know, good generation miners that are very efficient. Hence, that's why they got a score of 0.9841. If they didn't even have these in here, the 38, they would have gotten a score, a perfect score of basically one. Uh, you know, so that's why they are where they are at because of the new generation miners that they've gotten. So here's the, all the information. Um, oh, and my mouse is getting low. Okay, hopefully we'll make it through here. Um, but here's the information for what they currently have, and then here's the information that ha we have for all of our miners are going to be installed through 2022. So based on those numbers, we got Argo at 0 0.045, Bitfarms at 0 0.0474, and then we got CleanSpark at 9952. Digihost at 0 0.0861, Hive at 0 0.0714, Hut at 0 0.0383, Marathon at 0.455, and Riot at one, uh, 0.1244. So if we do a comparison to all these, here is the current, let me zoom this in again for you guys. So here's the information on the miners currently installed. So this is the ones that are currently installed, and then these are all the reported ones uh, through 2022. So CleanSpark is number one, has the most, the best efficiency basically, it's at 0.98. Marathon is in second place with 0.22. Riot is in third place with 0.18. Digihost is at 0.8. Hive is at 0.6. Bitfarms is 0.04. Hut 8 is at 0.03. And Argo is at 0.22. Uh, but here's the interesting thing that happens once you get into 2022 and when all the other miners get installed that the report are going to install, the CleanSpark is still number one at 0.99, which is very, very interesting for one, but it's also uh, a tremendous feat that they've basically accom accomplished. You know, some of these guys like Marathon and Argo have been around for a lot longer than CleanSpark has, but they're just doing a great job as far as uh, purchasing the right miners that are very efficient. Marathon is in second place with four, uh, 0.455, so they're also getting a bunch of these um, newer generation miners. Argo obviously came up from last, dead last year to if they have all the miners installed, when they do have them installed, they're gonna have very good generation miner, miners as well. They're gonna be at 1.6, Riot is at 1.2. Riot could be actually going up because they are using the immersion cooling in their facility in Texas. Uh, at least half of their facility is gonna be immersion cooling. That can give them at least another 25 to 50% increase in uh, their hash rate which is going to make it more efficient. So that might actually lead to Riot being maybe second or third spot uh, going forward. We'll just have to find out as far as what they're actually mining and the energy usage on that. Hive is at 0 0.071, so Hive pretty much stayed flat. Uh, Bitfarms is at 0.47, basically stayed flat in the same spot as well. In the sixth spot, Hut 8 stayed the same, and Digihost. So Hut 8 has a lot of those older miners, I think once they get rid of some of those, their score should increase because they are also purchasing a lot of the newer ones. Hive has the same thing. They got a lot of legacy miners installed that are, you know, some of them are two, three years old, um, even four years. So once they get, start getting rid of those, their efficiency scores should improve once we know what they actually have. But, but I just wanted to go over that for you, with you guys to kind of give you guys a comparison, uh, comparison as far as miner efficiency for all these mining companies. And right now, CleanSpark is the you know, winner for the currently installed and for the future install base that they're going to have, uh, followed by Marathon, obviously. And then we'll have to see where Riot ends up because of their uh, immersion cooling. But these are some of the miners, that uh, the ones that are the most used. So if we look at the miners here, the ones that are the most used are like the Bitmains, the MicroBTs, you got some Avalons as well. Uh, and then you got some other weird ones that I've never seen before in here. You got like strong U, E-Bang, I've seen E-Bang before. Uh, you got a Cheetah Miner. But looking at these companies here, Bitmain is obviously one of the ones that's leading along with what's Miner, which is I believe MicroBT. Uh, yeah, but Bitmain is basically spot orders. I mean, you can see how much these miners cost. The S19Js, the 104 tera hash, are at 11,440. You know, it's gonna take a while to recoup your uh, investment on it. Obviously, I'm thinking if you're buying 10,000 miners or something like that, you're going to get a little bit better pricing than if you buy just a couple. Um, and then we have got What's Miner. What's Miner has a lot of them that are also sold out. They got the 112 tera hash here at 13,000. Um, some of the other ones are 
lower terra hash, but they're all everything's sold out. Uh, you know, all these mining companies are buying everything up, so like the little guys that mine have a hard time getting these miners uh, when they are available. Available. Then you got the Avalon miners, that the the Canon Avalon miners. Those are the 812s, 811s, and 810s, and these are at 90 terra hash. So I'm surprised Canon can't um, or hasn't come up with a better miner for it. Uh, with a better hash rate. I think it all depends obviously on the silicon that you use. Um, and then the, trying to get foundries to make the silicon is another another question all on its own. And then we got eBang here. eBang, trying to find information on them, but a lot of these are, I think the majority of these are actually Chinese companies. Uh, but I was trying to find some actual mining machines. I mean, they, the latest thing they have in here is from 2019 sales, but no actual mining machines that I could look to see what their pricing is on them, or I just haven't looked far enough on it. And then we also have the strong U miners, which are at, well, $48,000 pre-sale. Let's see if we can get some information on that one. That one seems a little bit out there, 48,000 for a miner. And let's see if it's low, hold on. Google is translating. Everything is in Chinese, so I'm trying to figure out, out as much information as I can for you guys here. Okay, well that went bust. That didn't work. And then we got obviously you know silicon as well. I know silicon is don't see anything new for them as well. Uh, they have a 29 tera hash, or at least nothing that's here on their website. Uh, yeah, miners. What do they got here? The T2H. That one's 57 is sold out tera hash. Yeah, they're not really doing anything either. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Obviously, it's kind of interesting to find out. I didn't, to be honest, I didn't think CleanSpark was going to beat everybody out. Uh, but after looking at the numbers here, I can see why. All other miners are newer newer ones. Um, Marathon is obviously doing a good job as well. They're getting a lot of the miners that are newer based. So if we look at Marathon here, uh, some of the miners here, they're getting 100, what is it, 110,000 miners of these newer generation, which are the best ones here. So that obviously give them a lot, a good score, but they also have uh, 21,000 roughly of these miners with a score of seven, which are the, which are these guys here, the 110 terahash miners, which aren't surprisingly as efficient as the 100 terahash are. Uh, so you can see it here. Um, and then what else did they have on here? Marathon didn't have too many at all. They got a couple older ones here that were 24 score. What else do we have? Those were the Avalon miners. Um, and that's it. Yeah, interesting numbers. Let me know what you guys think of all this stuff. Obviously, if you want me to compare or do more research on the actual mining companies, the ones that produce the ASIC miners, um, I can do that. But I thought this was going to be a little bit more interesting looking, like, looking at the miners themselves and the mining companies, what they own and what their efficiency is. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I think that's it for today. Uh, I'm going to the birthday party after this. Um, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day.